doesn't just happen on the fly. And putting together two good halves, you know, they playing a great half, which you saw against a team like Gonzaga, but they couldn't put together the second half. And then rebounding. The pickpocket, a four on two for the Aggies. Stolen right back by McBrayer. Up ahead, Amir Coffey, the easy slam. Be playing tonight, Tuesday and Wednesday. There's also a women's bracket going on as well, featuring Notre Dame and Gonzaga. As Amir Coffey, who was limited to 18 games last season. Bill Mitchell is out there for Texas A&M. This is his first appearance of the season. As he gives up the easy slam to Otoru on defense. Just sealing the guy and getting the opportunity to score beneath. Excellent. Josh Nebo. The put-back slam that ends an 8-0 run for Minnesota. Those guys are just too much, I feel. Starks the explosion up with the left hand and one for TJ Starks. 14 minutes to play here in half number one. The inaugural Vancouver showcase. Murphy muscles it up and in. Oof right there. Murphy putting the ball on the floor. Looked like he was out of control. He said, yo, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm getting him to bite on this fake, pivot, contact. He's a guy who will stalk the three-point line. Averaging eight points this season off the bench in his senior year. Murphy, he stretches his range for three. Problem with shot making and just playing with one another because so many moving pieces and they're trying to figure it out on the fly. Oh, Stockman and one with the two-hand flush. He took overall from his junior from sophomore year, 56 less field goals, but 16 more three-point field goals as T.J. Starks gets loose on the inside. And then look at Starks penetrating, maneuvering around. It's the tone much like T.J. Starks does for Texas A&M, and that's why we profiled those two as the matchup to watch in this game, because here comes Starks. The dump off to Monk Mekawudu for the slam. He's an excellent touch. Look at that. Oh, Starks found the open man and buried in the corner. Have an out-of-body performance. It could be a long night for you. Well, you can definitely feel that the momentum has shifted here in the second half. That's a nice response out of the break for Minnesota. He was ready. He stayed engaged. There's Washington again after the steal by Stoll. Blocked by Mekawulu. Minnesota basketball. Kevin on the shot clock for the Gophers. Washington double team. Three to shoot. Stole for three. He got it. One second to go on the play clock. Your personnel, but look at that. Showed him, look. Just gave him a little flinch on the eyebrows right there. Look. Just a little flat right there on that release. Stall finds the open man. Omerso, the quick turnaround. They had nowhere to go. Good defense by Stall. Oh, touch turnaround by Brandon Mayhem. Got himself out of trouble. Murphy, jump stop, blocked by Mekawulu. Keeps it alive for a moment. They have on the elbow. He's had the hot hand here in the second half for a and Good touch pass. Five on the shot clock now for Minnesota. Murphy backs in. Stockman with one on the shot clock. They had JC in the game in the center of that zone. We have not seen him tonight. Comes in and gets a block immediately. JC with the impact. Now on the offensive end. Look at that man. Look at JC. This coming over. Getting the block. Running the floor. Making himself available and finishing with the strong two. Coffee lost it. Turnover number 20. Here comes Mahan. Finishes strong. Tie ball game. About a lot of things. But defensively, we got to talk about the Aggies putting that pressure on them. And look at Mayhem just having the time. Mayhem in the corner. Look at that. This spin move, understanding that they're sucking in to the paint, kicking it out to Mayhem. Seconds to go. Texas A&M down by five. Here's Starks for three. No. And Minnesota will hold on to this grinded-out win and improve to three.